So uh, first of all, Excel is just a spreadsheet and you have letter A, B, C designating, these letters designate columns and numbers going down designate rows. So there's the column B, here is row three and a cell would be like B3 and there's even telling you the name or the, of the cell that you've, you've clicked in. And you can put comments, you can put text, you can put numbers in each of these cells. So if I wanted to put a number two in that cell, I hit two, hit enter, and it's now entered. If I am now, it's moved me down, because that's typically what you do, enter numbers going down. Uh, you're in cell B4, maybe I entered a number three, okay? I can also enter equations, but when you start an equation, start it with an equal sign. So equal sign. And in the equal, I want to add 2 plus 3. And when I hit return, it, it knows I've entered an equation and executes that equation and gives me the result in that cell. So that cell now has a value of 5. If I go back and click on that Excel, that cell, up in this formula bar right here, it shows me what's going on. Oh, we have an equation starting with the equal sign, and I'm saying 2 plus 3. Let's go down to this cell right here, cell B6, and I want to start an equation. But this equation, I want to take 2 out of cell B2, or B3, and add it to this cell's value. So I click on that cell saying B4. Now I have an equation where I'm adding the value of one cell with the value of another cell and placing it in this cell. Hit Enter, you get 5 again. True? And you can then say something like equal to maybe this cell. And if I want to square it, I can do times that cell again. I would square it. Or if I wanted to, I can come up and edit this here equation bar, do a squaring, whatever the syntax is for Excel to allow me to do things. True? And then it, it squares it. You can also have some built-in routines like square root. SQRT. You have to know what is the name. And when it's sensing that you're trying to type in a formula, it'll help you. Say, is this the formula you're trying to type in? It's like autofill, true? And let's say you don't know much about the square root and you want to be reminded. I can click on that. It's going to probably be slow right now. And it'll come up with help. It'll come up with help and it'll say, oh, here's a, you're trying to get information about the square root of a number. And typically that helps even have a little example that you can work. Not much, it's not very difficult on a square root, is it? But there's some other things where you will be looking for that. I close the bracket, hit enter, and the square root of 5 squared is 5. Now, this value used this, the value out of cell B6, true? Notice what happens to cell B7 when I update b6 and i don't want it to be six anymore maybe i do this i go back and i change cell b3 maybe i change that to five or four notice what happens to cell b6 and b7 it's updated and so that's one of the beauties of the spreadsheet when i start changing values i don't have to remember the equations will, will percolate through and update those for me now let's say i want to take the hyperbolic tangent of this uh, function. Hyperbolic. Sometimes they'll try and give me a guess, but this little function up here tries to help me uh, find the function I want. And up here by the, the formula bar, I can type the insert a function when I'm looking for the function. So I can type uh, uh, maybe a question right here. It says uh, hyperbolic hyperbolic something. I wanted the hyperbolic. Oh, hey, we can do that. Uh, a cinch, I, that's a hyper, uh, what is it? Arc cinch, uh, the inverse hyperbolic sine. Uh, cinch, I can do the hyperbolic tangent, hyperbolic tangent of a number. So there's a lot of built-in help and that insert function key will help you find those things. All right. Well, uh, if I come down here and I click on sheet, It'll move to a different sheet. I can go back to that sheet, but you can work on different sheets and get pretty complicated calculations going. But let's try and solve or set up the solution to the problem I had, okay?